Soricom's lifecycle controls begin with ordering SIMs. Once a customer has registered a payment method to their account, they can quickly place an order for SIMs and devices directly from the user console by clicking Menu and navigating to the Orders page. Then, start a new order and enter the quantities of the items to include in the order. There are no minimum purchase requirements, so customers can purchase SIMs at a pace that matches their project growth. Customers can also place orders for delivery in the future in order to align with their warehousing and manufacturing schedules. Soricom provides customers with API control over all aspects of SIM management, and ordering is no exception. Customers can also create and manage orders programmatically, allowing them to implement automated purchasing as part of their management workflow. After purchasing SIMs, customers can start organizing their fleet by adding names and tags to individual SIMs. SIMs can also be organized into groups, allowing customers to model the management of their devices according to project, region, end user, or other type of hierarchy. Groups also allow customers to enable additional functionality for multiple SIMs at once, such as custom DNS, data routing, private networking, and other settings. Groups can have independent settings, which gives customers the ability to easily change any number of settings applied to a SIM by simply moving the SIM from one group to another, such as moving from one group configured for a development environment to another group configured for a production environment. We'll take a closer look at some of these additional features later. Customers can use the IMEI lock setting to pair their SIM with a device's IMEI so that the SIM can only be used in that particular device and prevent it from being used in other devices. Customers can also set up CHAP authentication in order to apply their own credentials to the cellular connection. With CHAP authentication, a device will need to provide these custom credentials in order to connect to a cellular network, rather than using Soricom's standard authentication settings. Once SIMs are connected, customers can view each SIM's online and offline status from the user console. The SIM management page provides an easy way to check the online status of multiple SIMs at once, as well as essential information such as the device's IP address, which group it belongs to, where it's located, its IMEI lock status, and so on. Customers can also change the speed class of a SIM in order to control the maximum upload and download bandwidth that the SIM can use. Additional details can be viewed by selecting a SIM and clicking Details. From here, customers can see the SIM's data usage history by month, day, and hour, and also check the network connection history, including details about which networks the SIM has connected to. Subscription containers are a multi mz solution that allows customers to add multiple subscriptions to existing SIMs in order to extend coverage, access more networks, and unlock lower data rates in certain regions. Soricom subscription containers can be managed directly by the customer and added to SIMs on demand. Simply choose a SIM, click Add Subscription, and select a subscription to add. A new IMZ will be provisioned immediately and securely pushed over the air to the SIM. Once the new IMZ has been delivered, the device can begin using the new subscription right away. Here we can look at the network connection history and see that this SIM is now using its new IMZ to connect to a new network. The SIM management page also allows customers to manage the status of their SIMs. Each status corresponds to a different network connectivity and billing behavior. The status options are active, inactive, standby, suspended, and terminated. These statuses allow customers to model their SIM lifecycle on the lifecycle of the hardware device itself. Soricom also provides several features to assist in automating each SIM's lifecycle. The Xbury function gives customers a simple way to specify an action to be performed on a SIM at a future date. 
such as deactivating or terminating a SIM. For advanced automation, Soricom's Event Handler feature allows customers to define their own conditions and actions. For example, customers can configure a rule which will be triggered when a SIM's monthly data usage exceeds 50 megabytes. Custom actions can be configured to run when this rule is triggered, such as deactivating the SIM to prevent further data usage, sending an email to notify the customer about the data usage, and automatically reactivating the SIM at the beginning of the next month. Soricom provides easy access to additional tools that allow customers to maintain operational control of their SIMs. For example, if a SIM is not able to establish a cellular connection, the customer can select the SIM and choose Run Diagnostics. Soricom will automatically analyze current and previous connection behavior in order to help customers identify potential issues. Finally, Soricom's lifecycle controls are also available for Sigfox devices, LWM2M devices using Soricom inventory, and devices connecting to Soricom through Soricom Arc. All lifecycle controls are available via API, as well as a command line tool provided by Soricom, and can be used to programmatically control each aspect of SIM and device lifecycles. Full API documentation is published on Soricom's developer website.